When you meet someone for the first time, do you reach your hand out to shake theirs? Do you give them a hug? Do you kiss them on the cheek? When we talk about these things, what we're talking about is symbolic interaction between people. The following short documentary casts a little bit of light on some of those issues. Looking at gender, gender, looking at the dynamics of gender, the dynamics of, 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 of age, and other factors that play a part in how we greet other people, and how people perceive us based upon that greeting. been socialized kind of in a hands-off approach. There's not a lot of physical contact made between family members, therefore when they meet people they don't know, there's even less um, of a desire or even, um, you know, response to shake hands, to hug, or to touch in any way. I believe that people strongly desire a connection with people, uh, whether that be a handshake, a hug, or some, some, some other type of greeting. I think it really helps facilitate the human connection and I think it really builds trust and intimacy in um, any, any type of relationship. And I think as we move uh, away from those face-to-face -face interactions as a result of social networking, video conferencing, I think there's still a really strong need for that human contact that can only be made in a physical encounter. The elaborate and somewhat quirky handshakes demonstrated in the opening segment were actually recreated from a popular television show and feature film. Believe it or not, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube with people from all walks of life demonstrating their skill in replicating these particular handshakes. A recently aired Budweiser commercial emphasizes the transient nature of the secret handshake and its relevance in both the space and time context. Like all fads, even handshake forms come and go and sometimes reintroduce themselves to new cohorts over time, much like clothing or any other cultural product, both material and non-material. However, the traditional handshake is always in fashion. The handshake is not by any means an American social phenomenon. Even in other countries, handshakes have become a regular part of popular culture. The ritualistic nature of handshakes can arguably be said to have transmuted into a male rites of passage where he who has the upper hand, so to speak, is king. More of a competition than an actual greeting, handshakes are a display of social dominance, frequently allowing the players to demonstrate their competence in executing complex moves that go above and beyond a simple greeting. Creativity and timing are keys to success in this modern ceremonial exchange. An analysis of social interaction rituals tells us the nature of reality. We are participants as well as creators, illustrating the depth of meaning inherent in the most simplistic behaviors. 
you know, that person is um, uh, strong, you know. They're like, yeah, let's get with it. Yes, I have. What did you do, like, after that happened? Well, first of all, I didn't really want to shake their hand, but because out of respect, I just know that you always have to shake the hand. Um, Business-wise, um, shaking hands can mean a lot. The perceptions that people make of you based upon the way in which you greet is enormous. It has implications in the business world, in your personal life, and just on an everyday basis.